ve la presento Birgit vieni eccola qui si vede che è islandese dagli stivali col, col traduttore ah beh stai lì Benis, Birgit Jons Dotti grazie I have seen signs. The end of the world as we know it has begun. Don't panic. It might look terrifying on the surface, but inside every human being, a choice to go under or act. Earth is calling, sky is calling, God is calling, creation is calling. Wake up! Wake up now! Now is the time to yield to the call of growth, to the call of action. You are the change makers. Sleepers of all ages, wake up! Wake up now! The 21st century will be the century of the common people, the century of you, of the majorities of the old school of politics, media, monetary systems, corporations, and all known structures in a state are in a state of transformation. They are crumpling. Now is the time for fundamental change on all levels. We have to seize this moment because this is the moment. It is rare that generations and so many individuals get such an opportunity to transform the world as we know it. The big question is, how do we transform it? Let's, by sta let's start by turning the pyramid of power upside down. It is obvious that we're running out of planet. Many people have lost the vital connection to our environment. Most of humanity don't comprehend cause and effect of lack of sustainability anymore. And many of us feel lost, displaced, and lonely. All the structures we thought would take care of us, be it systems, ideologies, religion, politics, or institutions, are failing big time. Gracias. To follow my intuition as a politician makes a lot more sense to me than the rivalry and manipulations of left or right ideology. The right and wrong ideology of the old world has simply outgrown itself. No longer do we have strong parliaments with direct link between the general public and decision makers. We have so-called professional politicians that are far removed from the reality most of us live in. Parties and politicians are often in an unhealthy marriage with corporations and corruption is thriving in the political arena all over the world. Many governments and politicians talk about transparency, yet the process of politics and laws is shredded in secrecy. Yes, enough of that, isn't it? <laughs> when everything collapsed in Iceland in 2008, I sensed that within this crisis was to be found an incredible opportunity for change. Because of that, I helped create a political movement called the movement like this one, uh, in February 2009. Its chief agenda was to bring forth democratic reform, such as people being able to call for national referendum and sever the ties between corporations and politics. In order for profound change to be possible, those of us inside parliament have to behave like activists by changing the traditions and revealing the unwritten rules of power. We are creating a haven for freedom of information in Iceland. Information will set you free. And thus, it should be free to access by everyone. We went on a quest to find all the best possible laws from around the world that ensure freedom of expression, information and speech. By basing our laws on legislation that is already proven to be strong enough to withstand attacks from those that want us to live in a world with less flow of information 
about the darker side of politics, international corporations, war and oppression. Information doesn't have any borders anymore. We live in a world where the superpowers want to put global censorship laws on the internet. We have to be a step ahead of them. I joined uh, WikiLeaks because I feel it is so incredibly important that there is a place in our world where whistleblowers and sources can feel safe to drop important documents that governments and corporations want to hide from us. I encourage you to go to wikileaks.org and look at the treasure trove of information you can find there. Uh, the Icelandic uh, Modern Media Initiative will make it possible for investigative journalists from around the world to publish their stories if they are under threat to be placed under gag orders in their own countries. Everyone should have free access to information. In our world, there should be no gag orders, no prior restrictions. IMI will provide a shield against that. We should have a haven for those that are willing to risk their lives to blog or write news about things in their own world, even if, they might, even if we might not be able to save them from the risks they take. We should at least make sure that their stories will not be taken down from the internet, no matter what. My hope is that IMI will transform into the International Modern Media Initiative because every day the freedoms we want to protect with it are eroding at an alarming rate. Here in Italy you, you are witnessing the end of the freedom of media with a new set of laws called Legge Bavaglio. Fight it! There is no copyright on IMI. Use it now. Without freedom of information, you don't really have democracy, but dict dictatorship with many heads. The 21st century will be the age of us, the common people, where we will understand that in order to live in the reality we dream of, we have to participate and help co-create that reality. So, I strongly encourage you to join this incredible movement Pepe Grillo has co-created. Run for office, be part of this opportunity of change. If I could become an MP in Iceland, anyone can become a member of parliament. So here is your first task once you're in office. If there is something we have to make sure stays under the guardianship of nations, not corporations, then it is the following. Water companies, energy companies, social welfare, education and health systems. When I was working as an activist, one of the hardest challenges was to get the attention from both the media and the people in power to the cause. Getting some changes implemented was nearly impossible. Now that I'm getting a better understanding on how things work within the legislative body, I have a much better chance to help other activists and the general public to get attention and even legislative changes and resolutions on issues that they are concerned about. What might seem impossible now might be quite possible tomorrow because we are experiencing very rapid changes on all levels. So I encourage you to start to make the blueprint for the future you want to live in, be passionate about your cause, and I encourage you to believe that everything is possible. Today failings might turn into tomorrow's successes. It's true. But the most important part, if you have a chance to work within the belly of the beast, is not to become like them, but to listen to your heart, 
to listen to your intuition and to be impeccable with your word. And finally, not care at all if you lose that place of power. So thank you. Thank you all the people of the movement in Italy. Gracias. I know I'm experiencing a truly historical moment here with you today. And thank you, thank you all who dare to be a part of this massive movement of transformation of politics.